Hey, before we start this video, I wanted to let you know that this video could have spoilers from Miraculous Ladybug show and movie. With that aside, please enjoy the video. Oh my god, it's worse than we thought! They made her emo! Welcome aboard, everyone. I'm Squishable Moon, for the note is Squishy Moon. I'm your shooting star, and today we're going to be redrawing Marinette Dupin Chang from the Tales of Miraculous Ladybug and Cat Noir. I know I am not the only one who has seen the Ladybug photos going around about the new special coming out, where we get to see evil Marinette and evil Ladybug and also evil Cat Noir. We get Shadybug and... Claw Noir, I believe his name was. It's all be because of a special that's going to be coming out where Ladybug and Cat Noir are the villains and everyone's speculating that Hawk Moth may be actually be the good guy. He may actually be the hero in this one. Pretty interesting stuff, to be honest. Though it does kind of feel like the company's doing this so they can give the community something they wanted since everyone and their horse wanted to see Marinette get akumatized. And yes, yeah, she was almost akumatized a couple times in the show, but we never really had that moment where she was evil, per se, which I kind of wanted. The one thing that I wasn't expecting, however, was a goth or maybe emo look from Marinette. Of course, these may not be the official, official images. They've been going around on TikTok, and I saw them. I'm pretty sure they are. But please take everything I say with a grain of salt. <laughs> I am just here to talk about the show. Um, I am definitely a fan of the show, but I do have a lot of things I dislike about the show. So keep that in mind when I'm talking about it. This is less of a redesign and more of me just wanting to draw Marinette as a goth or emo. Specifically because the aesthetic is so different from her normal pink, kind of preppy style. She wears a lot of pink, and I feel like she's very much a preppy, kind of girly girl. I don't see her being any other aesthetic other than girly girl. Of course, since she is a designer, I kind of wish in the show we had seen more of her designs, or her wearing more of her designs, but it is what it is. Also, just a little heads up, I have not finished Miraculous Ladybug. I have not seen the final, final season. What is it? Season five. I stopped watching after I think season four, some point, maybe beginning of season four, because I got really tired of them teasing Adrian and Marinette, like getting together. I was so sick of it that I was like, no, I can't do this anymore. I can't. I can't. <laughs> no more. And I'm really curious to see what this alternate universe Marinette is going to be like. Because obviously she's going to be evil. And I mean, to be fair, Marinette has a lot of reasons in her own universe to be evil. So I'm wondering if maybe that's the reason she became evil? There's a lot of speculation going around right now saying that she might be the reason Adrian's mother died. Or got went missing in some way. And she wants to get the Butterfly Miraculous to try and fix it. Of course, that's just a random theory people have. I mean, she had to face bullying from Chloe since her first, since she first started school at that school she goes to. And she was bullied pretty severely by her. Not just her, but from her crush, because Chloe got Kim which is the crush she had when she first started going to that school, to trick her into opening a box of spiders and falling into a pool that gave her lasting trauma. And I don't know about you, but if my crush handed me a box of spiders while we were on a date at a pool, and I opened it and got covered in spiders and then fell in the pool, I would be absolutely traumatized for the rest of my life. That sounds like an absolutely awful thing, especially for a teenage girl or teenage boy, any teenager to go through. That sounds absolutely horrible. Not only that, but Chloe constantly tries to steal things from Marinette and set her up to be a failure. Like that one time that Chloe tried to steal Marinette's design for the hats. I mean, she ended up not going through with it because Marinette was able to prove it was hers, but still, that really sucks. And don't even get me started on Chloe Bourgeois. She was one of my favorite characters, if not my most favorite character, because of all the character development she had. She was a basic stereotype mean girl for Marinette and everyone else. She was absolutely awful. 
But as the seasons went on or the episodes went on, her character developed into someone who could and was a hero, someone who could have done better, someone who could have worked past the trauma she has with her mother. She and Marinette, I could see becoming friends, especially with how much Chloe loved Ladybug. I mean, she even had an awesome suit of Ladybug. When they brought in Chloe's sister, I didn't really think much of it. I didn't really like her half-sister, uh, but maybe that was just me. She kind of reminds me of Marinette in a way. There's like just something that doesn't feel real about her, if you know what I mean. Kind of with Marinette, how Marinette's kind of... Well, Marinette's perfect in a lot of ways, but also not perfect. It, it's hard. She's like a Mary Sue who isn't a Mary Sue. But I never really liked Chloe's half-sister. I felt like it was a half-baked idea because they didn't want Chloe to become a hero, even though her as Queen Bee was probably one of the best miraculous holders. I feel like if she had stayed Queen Bee, it would have been a lot better. Instead of just making... They, they basically just regressed Chloe. They made her go back to being a spoiled, rich, awful person, and I don't know why they did that. Maybe it's because they wanted the whole Chloe and Lila thing to be a thing in the later seasons. I'm not sure. All I know is they kind of they kind of fricked up Chloe's character. Chloe and Kim weren't the only people who bullied Marinette, of course. There was also Lila, which I'm assuming Lila had been there the whole time, even when Marinette started school because of photos they had together. But because of Lila's lying, she didn't have to go to school. But Lila ends up pretending that Marinette pushed her down the stairs and everyone just believed her. Who is going to believe Lila? I mean, haven't they caught her lying plenty of times and they keep giving her chance after chance after chance? Even Marinette's best friend believed, Alia, believed that Marinette had done these awful things. So I mainly just wanted to draw Marinette in kind of the same clothing that I saw her in the new poster of the Miraculous Shadybug and Claw Noir story. So this is just going to be me sketching out the overall design. Although you can't see it on another screen, I had up the full body references we have of Shadybug and Marinette kind of in their alternate attire from their other universe. I was not feeling art that day. I was I was really struggling with getting the pose correctly. One of the things I hate most is sketching while recording myself because I tend to take a long time to do my sketches and they look really odd before I'm like at my finished sketch. Also, uh something that I I struggle with is drawing younger characters. I like to draw adult characters. That is my main my main drawing preference is I just like adult characters. I like adult bodies. They're fun to draw. So whenever I draw kid characters, I'm very aware that I'm drawing kid characters. So I always try to make it not my art not as uh, I guess not as sexual. I wouldn't say sexual, developed maybe. A lot of my adult drawings are very curvy i like very um, dramatic features so drawing her i really tried to make her bust smaller her waist not as like thin and her hips not as wide because i didn't want to make her look like an adult basically i wanted her to still look like her her teenage self i did like the idea of goth marinette or emo marinette i can't tell if it's goth or emo it's it's not very it's whatever it is it's not like it's super noticeable I would say like I mean she still has kind of like pink pants going on and she has like a pink streak in her hair like it very it very much feels like something Marinette would wear in the show which Marinette's style is a little confusing for me because she wears a lot of obviously she wears the same thing she likes this like pink polka dot kind of pattern that she wears a lot so i want to know if that is is that like girly attire i feel like that would just be girly comfortable attire i mean she does wear a couple other clothing like her pajamas and like her running outfit so here is just me trying to figure out what kind of clothing i want to put her in i did like the ascot around her her neck i thought that was a very cute touch it feels very old school designer uh i did like that they put ripped ripped parts in her pants 
So I just wanted to make that more dramatic by adding a more rips. I was definitely trying to go into the more like emo, I think, aesthetic when I designed this outfit with a tank top underneath. Like I said, when I draw when I draw kid characters, I want to keep them as modest as possible. Not that not that teenagers are modest. I just think it's really important on how you portray kids sometimes. Especially when this is a kid's show with probably a large kid audience. I didn't want somebody finding my video of Marinette wearing some really skimpy outfit, you know? So I wanted to make sure she was fully covered. I didn't really enjoy... I, I like how the art came out, but I feel like I could have done better. I definitely want to do a redesign again, give her more, maybe not a redesign, but I want to design her more outfits because I feel like Marinette being a designer, she should have had more outfits in the show. I feel like she should have shown off her personality more with her clothes, which I guess you could say she did. She had like a handmade bag and stuff and she liked to make things, but I feel like her designing aspect didn't really come out a lot in the show or her creativity aspect. I would have really liked to see her sketching more in her journal of clothes, maybe having more designs in her room, maybe making more clothes for her friends, which I understand. It was It's hard to do that when they're like superheroes and saving Paris and all that. But I mean, we did have a lot of filler episodes. You, you got to admit, if you took one episode out of Miraculous Ladybug, nothing would change. If you added something into Miraculous Ladybug, almost nothing would change because all the episodes ended and started almost exactly the same. They, somebody gets akumatized. They're probably at school. Uh, Marinette and Cat Noir I mean, Marinette and Adrian have to transform and become Ladybug and Cat Noir to save the day. And they always save the day because Marinette's like OP. She doesn't even need Cat Noir most of the time. And then they save the day and Hawk Mutt's like, ah, oh, get you again, you Scooby gang. You know, it's like Scooby-Doo episodes. You take one out, it would not change a damn thing. The one, of the, one of the things that I really liked about this outfit I made her are these old Converse that I used to see people wearing at my school I always wanted them but they were like a hundred dollars I had Converse and they were expensive they were like sixty dollars each and I was poor still am poor <laughs> and I could only get those even though I really wanted I didn't want to ask my parents to buy me these one hundred dollar shoes because I would feel so bad because I mean I feel like what if I ended up ruining them or something which I mean they're shoes they're going to get ruined at some point, but I don't even think they make them anymore. I don't think they make these shoes anymore, which I'm really disappointed about because now that I'm a, I'm an adult, I really, really want them so bad. They look so comfy. Converse are by far my favorite type of shoe. Um, I haven't bought any in a long time just because they're still really expensive. But the next time that I'm going to buy shoes, I'm I'm definitely going to get me a pair of Converse. By the way, this is all unscripted. I'm I'm just sitting here drinking some water, staring at myself drawing this and going, I wish I drew that differently because goddamn. This is probably one of, I mean, I've recorded myself drawing before. I stream myself drawing sometimes, but it just feels weird trying to draw a piece of art under a certain amount of time because the longer you take to draw something, the more you have to like speed up the drawing on your program to get like a an okay time lapse because I didn't want a super long time lapse like it's already long it's like 29 minutes it's almost 30 minutes of me drawing and I mean I guess I could speed it up a little bit more but <sighs> I have to talk during like this whole video and I I am not good at making conversation I barely talk to people outside my house not to mention I am still sick I don't know if you could hear it in my last video but I am still fighting whatever is wrong with me. So I was trying to think of what I wanted to do for her arms. Part of me wanted to give her the fishnets that she has in her official outfit, but I also kind of thought that maybe she'd look better if she had those, like, those gloves that people would wear that have, like, stripes on them. I think I end up giving her the those in the end, and I feel like they look really good. I wanted to add lots of fishnets, but I was trying to be careful with the fishnets because I feel like if you add too many fishnets, it doesn't look as good. I also feel like I could have made her face look better. Like I could have made it look more like Marinette, especially in the design you'll see coming up. I feel like it doesn't look like her as much as it could have. 
Like, I definitely could have made it look more like Marinette. Uh, I did like her hair. I do like the hair that they gave her. It's just, it's, it's just a little weird because it is, it's, it is stereotypical, like, emo hair where she has it, like, covering one of her eyes. But I mean, go off, I guess. It's, but I, I wanted to give her more of an emo cut. So I remember when I was in school, the emo hair was definitely, like, you have really, really short layers on top. So at some point, her hair kind of started looking like Karen hair like a Karen hairstyle, and I was like, oh no, I've made mistakes. Karenette, I don't want that. I don't want Karenette. She doesn't need to be a Karen. That would be absolutely awful. Though I feel like if she was evil, maybe she would be a Karen. That would be pretty funny to see. And I did, I cut it out, but I did want to draw her, like, alternate expressions. But I, I was, I didn't want to. I did and I didn't. I was, I was being lazy, I'm gonna be honest. I, this was mainly just me trying to, like, doodle. I don't draw fan art very often. I like to draw me, and also me, and myself, and I. I like to draw my characters, you know? So, it's very rare for me to draw things that I don't normally draw like this. But, I mean, it's pretty fun. So on this, I think I ended up going with her having, like, a fishnet shirt underneath. Like, lots of layers, I feel like, is a big part of, like, emo fashion. And, of course, I wanted to give her something on her shirt, so I gave her a broken heart, because I feel like that's very emo. And I ended up putting it in the middle of her shirt, just because a graphic tee. I gave her a bunch of little clippies in her hair because, w w yes, I, d I did also have emo hair when I was in school. And the hardest part was training your hair to, like, stick a certain way. Of course, you could always, like, get your flattening iron and flatten it. But it was just a lot easier if you trained your hair. So a lot of the time you'd have to clip your hair to the side and then just, like, keep it there until your hair finally decided that it wanted to stick that way forever. Your hair would just, like, learn that it wants it. you need it to stick that way. I also wanted to give her more bracelets, but I was too tired. Like, a bunch of, like, emo band bracelets. This is just going to be me drawing her again, but, like, in a different pose and, like, different style. I didn't know what style I wanted to draw her in. And like I said, I was having a rough day that day. For some reason, I kept drawing legs, like, way too freaking long. Like, I was, I was just not having... I guess I was just being self-conscious because I knew that I was recording and you guys were going to see my absolutely disgusting progress of sketching this. But I mean, it's whatever. So I did skip some of me doing the sketch art for this just because it was taking a long time and it was kind of boring. I didn't think you guys would want to watch me sketch the entire thing again when it's basically just like the same outfit. You didn't miss much. It was just me struggling to draw as usual. Just struggling. In this one, I did give her back her blazer jacket because I do like her jacket. I think it it definitely blends in well with kind of the weird aesthetic she's trying to go for i do remember a lot of emo and goth kids wearing like types of jackets maybe her style is like alternate fashion maybe that's what it's supposed to be i'm not sure i don't know what style she's trying to go for that show is crazy now the coloring was the part that i was going to be the most excited for and i was mainly going to use the color palette that she already had on the poster that I saw of her. Obviously, I think Marinette's poster may be fan-made because I don't remember seeing an official poster of Marinette. I think the only official poster we have is of Hesperia right now. But I'm going to try to use mainly the colors that I feel like are Marinette colors. I went and colored... I went and copied a lot of Marinette's colors and added them onto my page so I can make sure to be using those. I wanted to give her a hair down option because I thought Marinette with her hair down was always really pretty. And of course we had to add the signature like pink hair. And then I ended up adding like raccoon tails in her hair because I feel like it's a very emo look. And I don't know about you, but if you ever saw old like 2010 like emo attire they all for some reason had like the heartbeat monitor symbol on it there was a lot of that going around so i, I added that onto her t-shirt because i thought it would be funny i kind of wish i added rips to her t-shirt like on the bottom like she had cut it herself 
but I digress. Another popular thing was the checkered board on one side of your jeans. So I definitely gave her that. I guess I could have given her eyelashes, but I just realized I didn't. And of course, we had to give her some dark makeup. I have a love-hate relationship with Miraculous Ladybug. Because I honestly feel like it could have been a really good show. I think it's an okay show. I love the idea of superheroes, and I love a lot of the characters. Like I said, I loved Chloe a lot. I also really liked Luca. Uh, I like how he had a twin sister, and I like how he was the son of a famous musician. His mom, who owns the houseboat, absolutely fantastic. I think she's a funny character. I think we should have gone in more on the backstories of the friends she knew in school. I feel like they had a lot of things on their plate that they were trying to do with the show, but just couldn't, and that's why they're coming out with so many short movies and specials. There were so many characters in her classroom that we could have gone into that I thought were really interesting characters. It felt like any time that they were needed, it was only to push the plot forward, which I mean, fair enough, whatever. I just feel like a lot of the characters could have made the story a lot better, especially building up Marinette's relationship with her friends in her classroom. I feel like it could have added an extra bond that we needed. I know that Marinette was supposed to be really close with Alia, but sometimes it kind of felt like Alia wasn't very close with her. I mean, it. I wish we could have seen them hanging out more. I think building on Marinette and Alia's relationship would have strengthened a lot of the plot. The same with Adrian and Nino. I feel like their friendship could have been a lot better as well. Especially the fact that Nino and Alia were dating. And, and they, they knew the secrets of Cat Noir and Ladybug. You know, I, I'm pretty sure Nino knew, right? Didn't, did Nino know? I don't remember this. Like I said, there's so much in the show. There is so much plot. There's so much stuff they could have done that they did do that sometimes it's hard to keep track of all the things that they did because it feels like they had too much on their plate. I feel like they needed to have finished the Hawk Moth whole thing in the first two seasons. And then it should have switched to like Lila being Hawk Moth or something. I feel like... Hawk Moth, was, Hawk Moth was a good villain. Do not get me wrong. I think Adrian is a very interesting character. I like that his dad was the villain. I feel like it added a very interesting dynamic to the show, which is why I always thought Adrian should have been the main character. Adrian feels so much more like a main character that Marinette could not come close to Adrian's depth in his character. I feel like there was also a lot of wasted potential in characters, especially with Adrian and Luca. I feel like they could have been used a lot more, and I kind of wish they would have had Marinette be less of a main character. Which, I mean, it's her show, it's, you know, Mar Marinette's show, she's the main character, but if you had had Adrian be the main character, or if you had it be, like, split between Adrian and Marinette, which, I mean... Adrian is supposed to be the second main character, the male lead, but it never felt like that. It always felt like Marinette's show, not Aaron, A A Aaronette, not Adrian's show. I just, I wish they would have gone more in depth in the characters. That's really, if I could pick one thing, it would have just been to go into depth on all of the characters, more of her, more about like Alia's backstory, more about Lila's backstory, maybe Lila's mom, you know, just talk more about these relationships, build the relationships up. Don't make Marinette just automatically super nice and makes friends with everyone, which I mean, we didn't get to see much of Marinette making friends when she first started school in her first year. But I think building up those relationships as the series progresses would have made the show a lot better. And yeah, this is Marinette. So like I said, this wasn't this wasn't a redesign or anything. I mainly just wanted to draw Marinette because I saw the <laughs> the weird emo Marinette going around. I don't hate it, but it's just really odd to see Marinette in a different aesthetic than she normally wears because it doesn't feel right it doesn't feel like it's marinette it feels very odd kind of like uncanny 
because Marinette just does not fit. You, you, the Marinette we know does not fit that aesthetic at all. It feels very weird. Marinette's like pink and girly and cute. And I don't know. It's just, it's odd. It's uncanny. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the upcoming special. Let me know who your favorite character was. And let me know if you want me to actually redesign or design more outfits for characters in the show. Thank you so much for watching. I hope all your wishes come true. Bye-bye.